Hi and welcome to this edition of Out the Box. My name is Paul. Today we're going to be having a look at what is in this small box. This is the Ubiquiti Ethernet Surge Protector, so the ETH-G2. Had to pause then. ETH-G2. Alright, it's an inline Ethernet surge protector. So inside the box you're going to get your compliance guide. Probably never come out of the plastic wrapping I would imagine. You are going to also get your earthing pin. Alright, and the unit itself. So I'll show you the unit um, and then we'll talk through how you're obviously going to use this. So I'm going to show you the back of the unit first. Let me just lift that up um, for you. It should be fairly clear. You can see here um, we have two pins um, for wall mounting there um, at the backs. So the idea is you're going to put those into the wall and then clip it down into place. You can also see that we have ridges here um, and this is ready for pole mounting. Um, so if you wanted to mount this onto the pole, then you're going to put your zip tie through the back hole there. Hopefully you can just see it and then clip that into place. All right, so how do we do this? Well, let's just take the cover off the front. I'm just going to lift that up so you can see. You have two Ethernet ports in there. And then if we tilt it down here, we can see we have um, our earthing ring. So what's the idea? The idea is maybe we've got our Air Max or our outside antenna. Um, on a pole, um, we've got a cable that's going to run down to us, we've earthed it, we're using an earth um, cable uh, run all the way through our ethernet cable, um, we're going to pop out into here, um, maybe we've got, uh, we've used a TCGND, one of the tough connector, one of the tough connector, ground connectors, quite a job to say, all right, and you've brought it to your earth point here, um, or you have just earthed this entire unit, as you can see, um, this earth pin is earthed to the outside of those two Ethernet ports. So our earth pin has gone all the way through into the wall if we've got then a uh, grounding wire there or into our metal pole or whatever we are using. So the idea that this is in line, this is going to break the surge and probably blow this and hopefully not carry it on to your onward device. Now do remember these are can go outside. Um, so if we clip this in place, this could go up your pole as well if you wanted to. All right, you can see the bottom of there, the exit points for the Ethernet cables. Look, if you're putting this way, you'll hear me say this over and over again on videos. Please do put a drip loop in each of these. So let's not just cable out the wall or worse, cable down like this. If we're coming out, can we make sure that we come down? Maybe I'll turn it this way, we come out. We come down and we come back in. We come out, we come down, we come back in. Why? Moisture that's hitting this, moisture that's coming down from your external access point is going to travel down that wire. All right, so if we loop it first, it's going to drip off at the bottom and it's not going to seep up into the joints. All right, we can, we, in the worst case, we've actually seen it that some cables, Ethernet cables, actually have absorbed the wa water and after a period of time it has traveled all the way down, even up to 30, 40 meters down your Ethernet cable and into your switch that's actually inside um, or wherever you've put it. So let's get that drip loop in. So hopefully that's been useful to have a look at. Hey look, do hop on over to our YouTube channel. Um, you can see loads more box openings for um, uh, wireless networking and firewalling devices. We've got many how-to guides setting up your point-to-point -point wireless and all of those types of things. So do subscribe there. But hopefully that's been useful. Um, that is the Ubiquiti um, Surge Protector, inline Ethernet Surge Protector, the ETH-G2. My name's Paul.